Hello there! As you take this test, Autoproctor will check that your test environment is safe and secure. Think of Autoproctor as a person who is watching you take the test, like your teacher or invigilator. Watch this video carefully to understand what Autoproctor does so that your test can get marked as safe. Autoproctor monitors your camera and mic during the test. When the test loads, grant Autoproctor access to both of them. Else, you cannot take the test. If Autoproctor cannot detect your face at the beginning of the test, the test will not load. Once your face is detected, it will capture the first photo. Throughout the test, ensure that your camera can see your face. If the camera cannot see your face, Autoproctor will take a photo and store it for later. Autoproctor calls these events violations. Let's look at how you can avoid other violations. Do not take the test in a dark room. There must be enough light in the room. Ensure that only you are looking at the test, no one else. Your background shouldn't have too many objects or a bright light source. It must be as plain as possible. You must take the test in a quiet environment. If a noise is detected, it will get recorded. During the test, do not switch to a different tab or application. You must always be on the screen where you are taking the test. If you switch to a different screen, like Google, this will also be captured. Once you finish the test, your teacher will get a report of your test performance. They can then see all the violations that were committed during the test. For example, if you opened a different tab, they can see how long you were away from the test. Depending on the number of violations, Autoproctor calculates a trust score for your test attempt. The fewer the violations you commit, the better your trust score. There are other violations that Autoproctor detects as well. It isn't important to know about all of them. Just take the test like you would if your teacher was around you. Don't do anything that seems suspicious. Always look directly at the test. Ensure that there is no noise around you and that you are not changing the tab or application. Your test will then have a high trust score. Good luck!